You know what sucks? Loading. It's because, like, you just gotta wait there and wait for things to load. It's, it's boring. But, like, why not just get it right out of the way, right from the start, you know, preloading. Introducing the Preloader Core Plugin. A plugin that lets you preload image and audio assets at the beginning of your game through a new preload scene right before the title screen just like this. Using this plugin to preload assets at the beginning of your game helps make it so later in the game your game isn't so, you know, laggy when it's loady and, and stuff. To start, let's go over the visual options. First is a custom background. As you probably saw, by default, the default loading image is used from the system folder. However, you can customize your own. Like usual, create or go into your some random dude folder, create a preload folder, then input a background image like this. Be sure to copy the file name like this. Then of course, take that file name and paste it into the custom background parameter just like this. And now as you can see, that background image will be used in your preloading scene. Other options include the ability to format the specific loading text at the bottom of the screen. For example, you can make it so it says loading, then the file path. Maybe you can make it say just like, uh, I have no idea. Okay, did you just, uh, you can just make it say loading, three exclamation points. Yeah. You can also customize the text that appears when the loading is complete. So you can just say it is done happy face like that. Look how happy he is. Use fade transitions. This determines whether or not you're going to fade in between the preload scene and the title screen. I would recommend keeping this on, but if you want to make it snappy and fast, you can just turn this off. You can also customize the font size of the loading text on the bottom of the screen. So if you have like a long URL for your loading text, simply shrink down the font size and it should be good to go. And then finally, you can customize the gauge back color and the gauge main color of the gauge that appears on the preloading scene. So by default, the back color is just going to be black and the, you know, the front color is going to be red. But you can set this maybe like... Uh, uh, green like that and then bam our preloading scene looks like this now <laughs> yeah oh man but getting into the meat of this plugin going down here allows you to set the specific audio and images that are preloaded during that preload scene as you can see there's a bunch of different parameters split up for each folder for example the you know the bgm the me the se if you go down to the images you'll find the system battle backs to enemies Parallaxes, pictures, you get the point. Essentially, for each and every folder, you can customize what is preloaded from that folder. And we can also make more custom folders later, but we'll get to that, you know, later in the video. And while there are a ton of different parameters, they all boil down to essentially the same thing. You go into one of these and you have four options. You can set to all, important, custom, or none. Inputting all means that all of the files in that folder will be preloaded. So for example, if by preloading BGM and setting it to all, that means all of the background musics in that folder, for example, all the OGGs or all the M4As, depending on what platform you're on, will be preloaded. So as you can see here, all those audio files are being preloaded quite slowly because, you know, you know, BGM is uh, like the hardest thing to preload, but once you get through it, it's, it's, it's good. So yeah, it's going through pretty much all of them. And yeah, <laughs> there we go. Just be sure to keep in mind that the all option is only available on Windows or Mac platforms. If you export to mobile, you won't be able to use this. But don't worry, because there'll be an alternative to this later. Anyway, next is the important option, which essentially lets you say, hey, just preload all the important files from this folder. Now, what's important is dependent on each and every file. For example, what's going to be important for the BGM is going to be the battle music, the title music, and all the ship musics. So if you set this to important, all of those will be preloaded. Same thing for Emmy, all the important database setup music effects will be set up. For something like animations, all the important things are going to be like all the animations set up in the database. For something like characters, all of like the actor character images will be preloaded if you set this to important. And it just goes on and on just like that. So if you really just don't know what to preload and you want to preload some of these files, just input important and that should preload the like important files for that folder. Yeah. Next is the custom option, which essentially just lets you input direct file names to be customized and, you know, preloaded from this folder. Say, for example, we want to preload, I don't know, Dungeon 1, Castle 2, and Field 2, for whatever reason. You can simply input Dungeon 1, Castle 2, and Field 2 into the parameters, separated with commas, and then with the custom thing right here. And then those specific audio files will be preloaded in the preload scene, just, just like that. Yeah! So like I said before, the all option only works on Windows or Mac devices, but if you set this to maybe just custom and just input all the file names you have, you can still preload all of them just fine. So, yeah, there we go. Anyway, the final thing is just none, which means nothing's gonna be preloaded from the BGMs. So, yeah, if you, if you want to just make sure nothing is preloaded from that folder, set it to none, and you are good to go. 
Perhaps you want to do more preloading and less loading throughout your game. You can customize and make sure more of these things are preloaded at the beginning and less of them are loading throughout the game. On the other hand, perhaps you'll make so the preload is really fast and only gets to eat vital things. You can set so there's not a lot of things preloaded in the beginning, but you can make so the vital things preloaded and stuff. It's all up to you what you want to do. More things you have here, longer it's going to take the preload. Less things you have here, less time it's going to take the preload. And yeah, okay. Cool. Another important feature added in this plugin is the catch audio feature, which allows you to simply catch and store your preloaded audio to make it so they run instant, mighty fast in your game. By default, you may find that audio or music may be like this. As you can see, it's taken it's taken a bit of time to load them each time you want to play them, and it's, it's kind of annoying. But let's say we allow our BG to be catch, and we preload all of those audio files at the beginning. Now, as you can see, you play the songs without any delay whatsoever because they've been catched into a storage, and then you can just retrieve them and make them work. Of course, the downside of this is that's going to take up you know more memory in your game, but it's a decision up to you. As you can see right here, I've said so you can customize which specific folders will use this. So, for example, if you want to just make so it's going to just be BGM, you can do that. On the other hand, set so it's going to be the BGS, the background sound, and the music effects if you wish it to be the case. Once again, it just comes down to personal preference. What do you want to do more? Spend more memory, but have so if things a lot more faster, or maybe you just reserve more memory to have just a few vital things be preloaded and ready to go and fast and stuff. Next comes the custom paths. Say, for example, you want to preload an image from a custom path in your images folder. Simply, simply use these. First, input the path of the folder. So for this game, we can do something like some random dude that's going to be the main folder. And then in the corresponding preload images parameter like this, simply put all important custom none, just the same thing as before. But now it's going to be referencing this folder right here. And of course, this also works as subfolders. So if you just input some random dude slash preload like that, and then we input the background from sort of background to dash 17 like that. Then our background will be preloaded. Of course, that's sort of unnecessary because it's already loaded to be appeared on the preload screen. You get the point, okay? This just as you customize your image paths to be preloaded and stuff. Yay. The final thing this plugin has to offer is plugin commands that let you preload certain things. So if we use the plugin command preload audio, we can preload a specific audio file before a certain thing occurs. So we can set the folder to be like, I don't know, BGM, BGS, SE, or ME, just like this. So for example, we'll make it BGM. And we can set the name of the file to something like, uh, Battle 2, just like that. So if we know we're going to have a boss battle that's going to be using Battle 2 as a background audio, we can quickly preload it at the beginning of an event. Then when the event ends and the battle starts, you'll all have it preloaded and ready to go in the middle of the actual game itself. Just like that. So yeah, there we go. Alternatively, you can preload an image. Once again, it's simply input the folder name, so maybe like System, and for the name of the actual file, make it like Window, so it'll be like preloading the Window file. I, I don't know. If you also want to, you can add a space, and then a hue to be preloaded with this actual image itself. So there's a preload window from the system folder at a hue of 120. Just, just like that. But yeah, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, you should download the plugin in the description. And it says you give video a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And also, yeah, so, um, cool. It, it's, uh, yeah. But, um, if, you, if, uh, shoot, I don't know what to say today. Uh, onward to the, the video of the day. In today's video, I'll be taking this, uh, uh, hand sanitizer and stacking it. Well, having, I'll stack the two, the two uh, chapsticks on top of the hand sanitizer. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll even throw in this, like, portable battery just, just, to, just to make things not any more interesting. It's, it's very easy to stack the portable battery, but yeah. So, uh, that's all, that's all for now. And, until next time. Bye.